Welcome to week five of the NFL season. Today, the 2-1 Philadelphia Eagles are taking on the 3-0 Detroit Lions. The Eagles come into this game after their first loss of the season to the Pittsburgh Steelers by one point. And it can kind of be put on the back of Cody Parkey, but there were several other missed opportunities. But let's go ahead and get into this game. It's first and ten for the Lions. They get the ball first, hand off to Riddick. And Riddick on the first play of the game is going to get to the 40-yard line, a 13-yard gain. Now second and six, Stafford in shotgun takes the snap. He's going to go to the outside. That's caught by Eric Ebron, and he's got the first down. Jukes out Ronald Darby and brought down in Philly territory. That leads to second and 11, Stafford and Pistol, Riddick in the backfield, and they're going to go to Riddick again, this time to the outside, he breaks a tackle, and Riddick's going to be fighting for the first down and forced out of bounds about a yard short, already four carries for 26 yards, and now third and two, handoff to Amir Abdullah, and he will get nothing on the play, actually a loss of two, and that will bring out the field goal unit. For a 55-yard try, the kick is away, and it is good, so the Lions take a very early 3-0 lead, but now out comes Carson Wentz. On second and 10, Wentz takes the snap. Play action to Ryan Matthews. Wentz rolling out to the right side, trying to find somebody open. He has Jordan Matthews wide open. He hurdles a defender and is finally brought down in Detroit territory down at the 37-yard line, a 40-yard gain. Now first and 10, Wentz takes the snap, rolls out to the left side, airs it deep on the run, and it's caught by Doriel Green Beckham, who gets his first official touchdown as a Philadelphia Eagle. He was injured the first two games, came back against Pittsburgh and was knocked out, but the Eagles are obviously happy to have him back. And now on third and ten, a potential three and out is not going to happen for the Lions as they get the first down Stafford, two of three for 31 yards. Now a couple plays later, it's third and one Stafford and Pistol, and that is going to be a neutral zone infraction on the Eagles, so it's a first down for the Lions. So on first and ten, he goes to the outside. It's caught by Marvin Jones, and he has the first down down to the 28-yard line. That would later lead to third and three. Stafford under center again, takes the snap. Stands in the pocket, goes over the middle, and it's caught by Anquan Bolden, who has the first down, and is brought down by Leotis McKelvin. Now second and ten, about five minutes to go in the first quarter. Going to the end zone, and that's almost caught and almost intercepted at the same time. Now it's third and ten. Stafford takes a snap from under center, goes to the outside, and it's caught by Bolden, but he goes out of bounds. So that will result in a fourth down, and they kick the field goal. Now it's seven to six. Carson Wentz takes the snap, but fumbles the ball, and it's going to be recovered by the Lions. And Ezekiel Alonso will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. And they will take a 13-7 lead over the Eagles. Now 3.45 to go in the first quarter. Wentz takes the snap, goes to the outside, caught by Nelson Aguilar. He's got the first down. Aguilar down the sideline and finally brought down at the 50-yard line. Wentz 3-4 of four for 100 yards. Now third and 13, Carson Wentz takes the snap, and he's going to go deep downfield. He's got a man open, and that's Desmond Lewis as he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia and they will take a 14-13 lead over the Lions. So now Stafford comes out on second and seven, under a minute to go in the first quarter. It's been a pretty exciting first quarter as he finds Roberts for the first down, jukes out two defenders, and is finally brought down at the 50-yard line. Stafford, eight of 12. Now third and 11, Stafford takes the snap. He stands in the pocket, goes to the outside. It's caught by Bolden, and once again, he has the first down. Stafford, nine of 14 for 94 yards. Now first and 10, he sends a man in motion, and it's going to be a handoff to Riddick, and he's got good blocking in the first down. 15, 10, 5, and finally going to be caught by Malcolm Jenkins at the 3-yard line. Nine carries for 66 yards. Now on first and goal, goes to the end zone, and touchdown, Lions. They will take a 20-14 lead over the Eagles. And now Carson Wentz comes back out, takes over at the 25, play action to Carlos Williams. On third and 10, he rolls up to the right side, throws on the run, and it's caught by Desmond Lewis. He has been a huge part of this offense this season so far. Now third and six, and he sends a man in motion. Carlos Williams in the backfield again. Wentz takes the snap, goes to the outside. It's caught by Green Beckham, but he cannot fight away from Darius Slay as he gets brought down on the play, and they punt the ball to Detroit. Now first and 10, handoff to Riddick, and he gets brought down in the backfield by Jordan Hicks. Now 10 carries for 63 yards. That would lead to third and 13. Stafford in shotgun in the backfield. Takes the snap, stands in the pocket. All day to throw. Goes to the outside. And it's intercepted by Ronald Darby, who gets his second interception as a Philadelphia Eagle. I think he got one back in week one. Hadn't gotten one since, but that was a big one there. Now first and 10. Carson Wentz takes the snap, rolls out to the right side. And Carson's going to take off. He will dive for the first down and get it down at the 16-yard line. That would later lead to third and 20 after a penalty. Wentz takes the snap. He stands in the pocket under pressure, breaks away from one sack, but he's going to be brought down on the play back at the 33-yard line by Nada. And now on fourth and 27, the kick is away, and it is no good. I am still not incredibly great with that kicking meter, but I think I'm getting better. Now second and nine, Stafford comes out in shotgun, takes the snap, goes to the outside. It's caught by Roberts. He's got the first down, breaks a tackle, and is brought down by cornerback Kendall James. 
That would lead to a second and ten. Stafford in shotgun. Riddick in the backfield. And they give it to Riddick once again. Great blocking. Has the first down inside the 20, 15, 10. And finally pushed down by Rodney McLeod at the seven-yard line. He is at 13 carries for 99 yards. Play action to Amir Abdullah. He goes to the end zone. And it's going to be caught by Eric Ebron. Touchdown, Lions. And they take a 27-13 lead over the Philadelphia Eagles. Actually, 27-14. I apologize. But now the kickoff. And back to return is going to be Darren Sproles. He fields this at about the two or three yard line. And Sproles has a lane to go through. Sproles now off to the races. And I don't think anybody is going to come anywhere near him. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Eagles. And they make it 27 to 21. As long as Parkey is able to drill this extra point through. And I believe he was. So now it's 27 21. 350 to go in the half. And play action to Theo Riddick. Stafford maybe looking to go deep downfield. And it will be intercepted by Ronald Darby. He gets his second today and his third on the season. So now Carson Wentz comes out and it's third and four. Wentz takes the snap and it's a play action. Wentz goes to the left side, caught by Ertz, who breaks the tackle, has the first down, still going and finally brought down to the 37 yard line. Wentz, 8 of 12 for 192 yards. Now first and 10, handoff to Ryan Matthews to the outside. He gets a good block. He's got the first down, and Matthews will finally be brought down at the 22-yard line. I tried to truck that defender, and it did not work. Now first and 10, Wentz takes the snap. He drops back in the pocket, going to go to the end zone, and I think Ertz jumped into that flag, but it will be a flag on the Lions, so the Eagles will get the ball at about the 5-yard line. So now on first and goal from the two, Carson Wentz under center, and he tosses out to the outside to Ryan Matthews, and he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. They make it 28-27 to here in the first half. This game is looking like it's going to be a shootout. So now Stafford comes out under center. He takes the snap, goes to the outside, and that's intercepted by Ronald Darby. That's his third on the half and his fourth on the season. This trade is obviously looking like it's paying off so far. So now Wentz comes out on first and 10 from the 38-yard line, under two minutes to go in the half, handoff to Matthews, and he is going to be brought down by his face mask, so that will be an extra 15 yards for the Eagles. Now that would lead to second and six, under a minute to go, and handoff to Matthews to the outside, some good blocking, he's got the first down inside the five, and is going to be forced out of bounds at about the one-yard line. Now after a couple bad runs, it's now third and goal, and Carson Wentz takes the snap and just going to run right into his blockers. I don't even know what I was trying to call there. Maybe a read option, but I severely screwed it up. But anyway, to end the half, we bring out Cody Parkey, who will drill the field goal right down the middle and makes it 31-27 to going into halftime. So now we start the second half, and Philadelphia has the ball first, up by four points. Carson Wentz, play action to Ryan Matthews. They may be looking to take a shot here to open the half, and he's going deep, and it's intercepted. Looks like he was going for Jordan Matthews, but overthrew him. So now the Lions will take over at the 26-yard line. And on first and 10, Stafford takes the snap from under center. He stands in the pocket under pressure, sacked on the play by Connor Barwin. Back to the 17-yard line. Maybe our defense will finally show up this half. Third and 17 now. Stafford takes the snap out of shotgun, and he goes to the outside. It's caught by Ebron, but he's got a lot of ground to make up, and he will not get the first down. So they would punt the ball right back to Philadelphia. And on first and 10, Wentz takes the snap. He's standing in the pocket, goes over the middle, and that's caught by Jordan Matthews this time. Down at about the 46-yard line. 10 of 15 so far and over 200 yards. So now a couple plays later, second and two, handoff to Matthews to the outside. He's got the first down, but is barely tripped up, and had he regained his balance, he had a lot of open space in front of him. So that will lead to a new set of downs for the Eagles, and on first and 10, Wentz takes the snap and play action, but is immediately going to be sacked on the play by Haloti Nada, and that will be his second sack today. Now on second and 18, he takes the snap, play action to Ryan Matthews, and he may be looking to go deep downfield, and he is. It's caught by Matthews. He breaks away from four defenders and finally going to be brought down inside the 15-yard line, but there is a flag on the play. Please do not be against Philadelphia. And it's going to be holding on the offense, and it's Jason Peters, our star left tackle. So that will lead to second and 28. Wentz takes the snap, throws on the run, finds Desmond Lewis, who has the first down. Lewis makes a couple people miss and makes this third down pretty manageable at third and eight. So now Wentz comes out in shotgun, and he'll take the snap. Only one in the backfield, and he's going to roll out to his right side, trying to find somebody open. Throws on the run. It's caught by Green Beckham, but there's another flag down. Is this one going to be against Philadelphia? And it's an illegal forward pass on Carson Wentz. So I bring out Cody Parkey for a ridiculously long field goal try. The kick is away, and it is good. That was a 57-yard field goal attempt, and I made it. 
So now it's 34-27. Stafford takes the snap and play action to Theoretic under pressure, and he is immediately going to be brought down by Jordan Hicks. I think half the defense got back there. Now third and 22, Stafford under center, and he's going to play action to Theoretic again. There is a flag down already, but he's going to go deep downfield and overthrows his receiver. I don't know if that was a good decision anyway, but let's see what this flag is about here. Okay, so this time it's against the Lions, so the Eagles will get the ball. It's third and two a few plays later. Wentz in shotgun, takes the snap, throws a screen to the outside to Ryan Matthews, and I accidentally juked into my own lineman, so he's brought down at the 40-yard line. So now third and seven, and Wentz in shotgun again. Play action to Carlos Williams. Wentz standing in the pocket. He's under pressure, gets rid of it, and that's going to be intentional grounding. So we'll punt the ball away. So on fourth and 17, Jones punts the ball deep downfield. He's been pretty good at penning people deep so far this season. It takes a Lions bounce and will be down at about the six yard line. A great special teams play from Philadelphia. So now on first and 10 from the six, Stafford under center, play action to Theo Riddick. He's under pressure and he is gonna be brought down by Leotis McKelvin in the end zone for a safety. So that'll make it 36 to 27. Now after another penalty, it's first and 20 for Philadelphia, but no problem for Carson Wentz as he finds Zach Ertz for the first down. So now second and 11, Wentz and shotgun will take the snap. Wentz under pressure, rolls up to the right side, throws on the run and finds Ryan Matthews who has another Philadelphia first down into Detroit territory and that will lead to third and six a few plays later. Wentz in shotgun, takes the snap, stands in the pocket, throws over the middle, caught by Green Beckham. He is fighting his way for a few extra yards down to the 20 yard line and that should take us to the end of the third quarter. Actually no, we're going to run one more play. Two seconds to go and this will be the last play of the third quarter. Carson going to the end zone and it is caught by Desmond Lewis who gets his second touchdown today. And that makes it 42 to 17, but the Eagles are going to go for two and they will get stuffed on the play. So here was my thinking on that. Had we gotten it, it would have made it a 17 point game. So it would have been a three possession game. Had we not gotten it, it would have been 15 points and still a two possession game. So it didn't really matter to me in that situation because even had we kicked the extra point, that would have only made it a 16 point game. So do you see kind of where I came from? I went to make it a three point game, but then the Lions go three and out. So that will make it fourth down and the ball goes right back to Philadelphia. So now up by 15 points, Carson Wentz comes out on third and 10, a potential three and out for Philadelphia. Wentz over the middle, caught by Desmond Lewis, who has had a terrific day, and he's going to have the first down on the play, brought down at the 36-yard line. Wentz over 300 passing yards today. Now on second and three, Wentz takes the snap, and it's a swing pass to the outside to Ryan Matthews, and Matthews will fight for the first down, brought down at the 47-yard line. Carson Wentz 18 of 25 for 349 yards. Now third and 11, Wentz takes the snap and he's going to roll out to his left side. Wentz is going to try to take off but fumbles the ball and it's going to be recovered by Detroit. I tried to fight for the first down, obviously did not work out. So now the Lions take over, it's first and 10. Stafford standing in shotgun over the middle, a wide open Marvin Jones. I have no idea who was supposed to be covering him, but they obviously did not do their job. So that would later lead to third and seven, under pressure goes to the outside, it's caught by Riddick and a great open field tackle from Malcolm Jenkins and that will lead to a fourth down. So they kick the field goal. So now it's a 12 point game, 42 to 30. And on third and four, they give it to Carlos Williams and he will have the first down. Five minutes to go in the game. The Eagles are trying to chew up some clock. Now on third and four, Wentz takes the snap, handoff to Williams, and he will not get the first down. So they will punt the ball away to the Lions. So now on fourth and two, Jones is going to be punting from about the 35 yard line. They're going to look to pin him deep here again. It takes a bounce inside the 10 and will come to a rest at about the eight yard line. So the Lions have to go 92 yards, and now it's second and three. Stafford takes the snap, goes to the outside. It's caught by Riddick, and he is going to be brought down on the play, but gets the first. A minute 31 to go. It's third and inches. Stafford takes the snap, goes to the outside, and it's almost intercepted by Malcolm Jenkins. Had he picked that off, that would have been game over. So that leads to fourth and inches. Stafford under center, and play action to Theo Riddick. He's going to look to go deep downfield. It's caught by Ebron, and this time Malcolm Jenkins cannot make the play. He's at the 10-5, nobody within 20 yards of him. Touchdown, Lions, and they make this a one-possession game. So now it's 42-37. Who is going to recover this onside kick? The Lions still have all three of their timeouts, but Zach Ertz is able to recover it. So now if the Eagles get a first down, that's pretty much going to be the end of the game. But it's third and nine, a minute eight to go. Wentz takes the snap, goes to the outside. It's caught by Desmond Lewis, who runs into his own blocker and is tripped up and brought down at the 41. But the Eagles are going to be aggressive. So on fourth and one, the Eagles come out in a goal line formation. It's a snap and handoff to the fullback. He gets the first down, and the Eagles will get out of here with a victory. They improved a three and one on the year. So we get out of here with the victory, even though we were down 27-14 at one point. And to me, the game changer was Darren Sproles' kick return. Uh, because after that, we just kind of went 
on a tear because we got we got it to be 21-27, then we took the lead, then we got the field goal, and then eventually it was like 42 to 27 before they made that, you know, late, you know, try and a comeback. The third quarter defense played really well. Ronald Darby balled out today, three interceptions. He now has four on the season. Um, if you guys don't remember how we got Ronald Darby, I think I traded Vinny Curry and someone else or a late draft pick or something for him because we needed corner help. And honestly, to me, that seems to be like a really good trade at this point. And signing Desmond Lewis. We needed receiver help. Um, a lot of you guys, if you watch my Browns franchise, are going to remember Desmond Lewis as he was a big piece of the Browns franchise until I essentially canceled that series. But he has played really well this season. Um, overall today, I think we played really well, minus the defense in the first half or really the first quarter. But anyway, we are now 3-1. Our game next week is against the Washington Redskins. It is our first divisional matchup. I'm excited for that game. Hopefully you guys are too, and I will talk to you guys next time.